this morning, North Korea is reeling. Its supreme leader, Kim Jong-un, completed a stunning power play Thursday against his uncle. North Korea's news agency announced the regime's number two man was executed for trying to overthrow the government. As Seth Doan reports, this high-profile purge is unprecedented. News of Jong Song Tech's execution came with a North Korean flourish. The state run news agency there called Jong the most vile traitor of all ages, despicable human scum, and the ultimate insult worse than a dog. At the center of the charges against him were his alleged runaway political ambitions. In their lengthy, colorful report, the North Koreans said Jong had a fantastic dream to grab power and create a little kingdom. The operative assessment was that Kim Jong-un was young, inexperienced, and probably had a very weak hold on power, and that uh, his uncle, Jong, was there specifically to prop him up. All of that seems to have been turned on its head. First, Jong was digitally erased from North Korean propaganda films. Then pictures were released that showed Jong being physically removed from a high-level government meeting in Pyongyang. He was chastised for womanizing, dining in expensive restaurants, gambling, and behaving so arrogantly by half-heartedly clapping at an event for Mr. Kim. Finally, we saw a handcuffed Jong at his military tribunal trial on Thursday, where he reportedly admitted to dreaming up a coup with Kim Jong-un as target. Jong had close ties with China. In fact, he traveled here in the past on behalf of Kim Jong-un. Today, China has not said much, but it is watching this story develop and does not want to see instability on its border. For CBS This Morning, Seth Doan. Beijing.